We all know what a barn looks like. It's one of the universal symbols of farming. But in the years ahead, the traditional barn may give way to a more radical design. In real estate terms, it might be referred to as open concept. Ingrid Clark has more. Audrey and Russell Shelton have been dairy farmers since the early 1980s. Today, they milk about 50 Jersey cows twice a day in a brand new barn they've designed themselves. It's a design that's turning a lot of heads. Even Audrey admits she had her doubts at first. <laughs> I kind of wondered. <laughs> yes, I wondered, but it's working out really well, so I trusted him. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I don't go for every idea that's out there, but there are some things in life you should just stand back and take a second look at. What's so unusual about the Shelton's barn? It's simplicity. It's sort of a glorified driving shed, 90 feet wide, 120 feet long, with a 20-foot high ceiling, and no exterior sidewalls. Needless to say, the Shelton's have a constant breeze blowing through the barn, even on hot summer days. But what's it like in the middle of winter? In the winter time, we dress warmer, of course. We wear insulated clothes and boots, and... Uh, it keeps the cows very comfortable all year. There's no ammonia smell, and uh, we're enjoying it much better than the old-style barn we had before. In fact, they say it's a joy to come to work in this barn. The air is always fresh. Moisture and humidity just aren't a problem, and everyone's been much healthier since they made the move to the new barn. The open concept design has also made getting the chores done a breeze. We have a tractor and uh, it does a lot of jobs. It moves bales, it cleans the barn, it does a lot of jobs and it's just one machine compared to several that an older barn ta takes. And the older barns are a lot more work. You have to slug around a lot of square bales to get the cows fed, whereas we can feed a couple bales a day, round bales, and we're done. Cost to construct the new barn was about $100,000, a quarter of the usual price, and it was up in just two months. Because the barn has no sidewalls, the Sheltons have no use for large ventilation fans. Their hydro bill has dropped dramatically. They also take advantage of the exceptionally high ceiling in the barn. In winter, they stack hay right to the rafters. And because this storage area just happens to be on the north side of the barn, the hay actually acts as insulation. Providing comfort for cows and people alike has already proved profitable. In 1990, the Sheltons had the most improved Jersey herd in Oxford County, increasing milk production by about 1,500 kilos, or $600 per cow. A cow, she just asks for a comfortable place to live, a full belly, and a quiet life, and that's what we're trying to provide here. You might say it's a barn that combines comfort and convenience with low cost, all under one roof. In Burgessville, I'm Ingrid Clark for Town & Country, Ontario.